Okay, so in this video I want to set up some um, code to estimate the binomial model and I'm going to use the approach by Cox, Ross and Rubenstein um, and that involves setting out a binomial tree and then estimating a risk neutral probability and uh, deducing from let's say Black-Scholes uh, volatility, the up and the down uh, multiples that are applied in the tree. So to move from S to uh, the next node, you either go up or go down. If you go up, you multiply by this U. If you go down, you multiply by, multiply by D. So to set this up in um, uh, C++, I'm going to open up the Visual Studio um, application. I'm going to set up a new project. And I'm also going to take code from Volupta. And, okay, so we'll, we open up Volupta, which is a very r good source of coding, uh, in particular for C++ when pricing derivatives. And uh, we go to, to plus C plus plus, and there is code for Cox Ross Rubenstein here <clears throat> on one of the entries. If I could just find, um, uh, here. So for American options, we have Cox Ross Rubenstein tree, but it requires to boost C plus plus, which I haven't incorporated into my libraries yet. So what I might do is take the Lysenberger Lysen Reimer binomial tree and just opens up very nicely here uh, and we might copy. Okay, so it's got basically all the elements of constructing um, a Cox Ross Rubenstein tree. In fact, this code is actually uh, this approach to constructing a binomial tree is an improvement on the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree because it converges much more quickly. But let's set out a new project. So I'm going to say Cox Ross Rubenstein from LR Volopta. Okay, and hit OK. And then next. And then make sure to click an empty project and finish. And that takes a second. Okay, so um, I'm good to go. I just need to add um, a, a source file, so a new item. And um, I call this Cox Ross Rubenstein from LR. Lopta. Okay, so just add. Now, uh, here in the, so I just paste in and I make a few small changes. Uh, so typically we can get rid of these and I get rid of the using namespace system and we might come down here and put in system poll. So I'll look for the main. Right. And we can put in, I can remove that and put in system open brackets, pause in capitals. C is case sensitive and semicolon. Okay. So. Is there red here? There's a little bit of red. So there may be issues. Okay, max. Um, okay, so uh, it doesn't read max. Okay, so we need to put in a little, little bit of code here. So let's organize that. Okay, so just below, I just uh, copied some code from a project that a student former student of mine has done. So I just paste in here uh, and he had some code for estimating the max of two numbers. So basically if we have two numbers and we apply this function max, if a is bigger than b, 
return A, otherwise B. Okay, so just the same as application max in VBA. And, okay, does that clear up that problem with max? Okay, it has. So the red has disappeared. And let's run this code. Um, check the number, okay, N here, the number of steps in the tree is equal to 100. So let's just run that. And that takes a little while, but shouldn't take too long because it's just 100 steps. And C++ can generally cope with that uh, reasonably well. Uh, so we have 289, 214, 289. Okay, American call is the same as an American uh, European call. So that's, and the American pot is more valuable than European pot. So that would be consistent with some theory. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put in values that I know the answer to. So if I put a spot of 100 and spot of 100 and time period of one year. So we have spot of 100, exercise one, uh, 100, time period, maturity of one year, volatility of 20%, and run this, this is Lyson Reimer uh, tree. Okay, with 100 steps. Okay, it's highly efficient. I know the answer is 1045 for a European call. Okay, and that's what we get here. And the tree seems to converge very quickly. Uh, because normally with a Cox Ross Rubenstein tree, I probably need to take N up to a thousand steps before we would get convergence here to the 1045 value for the European call. Okay, so let's, let's adopt this code here to, uh, be consistent with Cox Ross Rubenstein and um, I just need to make a few changes. So if we go back to binomial model here, uh, Cox Ross, Cox Ross Rubenstein in 1979 published a seminal paper on developing a kind of a simplified approach to pricing options. So it was basically they reconstructed Black Shoals, put it, put it into a more numerically intensive, using a more numerically intensive approach. And, um, they used the lattice tree. And to set out uh, a risk neutral probability, an up and a down, which I've mentioned uh, here before. And um, they uh, found that with, uh, if you increase the number of steps in your tree, the value of the option converges to the Black Scholes value. Okay, so I want to put this in, I want to make a few small changes in the code to reflect Cox Ross Rubenstein. So there's a few things I can leave out then. Uh, this code here we can leave out. Right, we don't need for Cox Ross Rubenstein. Okay, and maybe I'll just make those changes. Okay, so they're gone. Uh, we don't need method one. Right, the vectors we'll leave in. We don't need D1 or D2. Uh, we can leave UN and DN. We'll call them something else in a moment. We can get out, remove the double, uh, term 1. We can remove because this is just code for Lysen Rhymer. And we can get rid of uh, double here and double here. Okay. And okay, so this code here, it builds tr the tree. Uh, we don't have a U and a D specified, so I've go got to go back and look at that. Otherwise, um, we also don't have a P, so that's why you're getting little bits of red here. The program is telling us there's an issue here, or the compiler is telling us there's an issue. So we have to designate a U and a D, and how we might do that is change U here, UN here to be U. And what I've just done, right, the U and the D here is consistent with uh, U and D here. 
So that u and that d is consistent with the u and d here. And the, the dt is the change in the time period. So if t is one year and n is equal to 100, dt is equal to 1 over 100 of a year. Okay. And we also need to put in a p. Right. Because part of the, if we look at this formula here, just for the European option, when we go back tr through the tree, as we generate the tr tree, we have to come back through the tree. To come back through uh, the tree, we have to apply a risk neutral probability. So it's P times the value of the option as the stock price goes up, plus 1 minus P times the value of the option as the stock price goes down. And if there's a dividend yield, P is E, a dt minus d over u minus d and you have a q here for reflect dividend yield in this instance here we don't have a dividend yield but we do need to put in a p so we need to put that in before we write the tree so let's on this line double d o u b l so we're declaring the variable as a double it's p equal to open bracket e x p we're multiplying R by DT, close brackets, minus D, close brackets, divided by U, minus D, close brackets, okay, and semicolon, semicolon, okay, and that looks good, okay, so we have the basic elements, we have a P, we have a U, we have a D, and we have this filter to suck back the values, the option values through the tree. And so I think we're good to go. So let's run this uh, again. Um, I could remove this code. It's not strictly necessary that I have this function here to get a, um, an odd number. So we declare any equal to here 100 okay let's just um, take this out um, so the if statement we don't need we only need an uh, an odd number for Lyson Rhymer okay so that doesn't cause any offense and let's just run this at a hundred steps And the build succeeded and we do get a value of 1043 okay and what has happened is although the Europe, I know the value should be 1045 we only have gone 100 steps and the Lyser Rhymer code uh, which produced 1045 converged much much more quickly so for us to do uh, for Cox Ross Rubenstein to get to 1045 I need to increase the number of steps probably up to 1000 and I'll run that and pause because this will take a little bit of time. So I'll run this code and I'll, it'll take a while. Okay, and that took about uh, one minute to execute the code. Uh, so we're getting 1044, we're getting a little bit closer. Let's do that again with a 10,000 steps. So I close this down again. And I come back in and increase the number of steps now to 10,000 and I'll execute so we'll run and I'll pause it's going to take a little while okay and in this instance uh, my computer resource is probably not sufficient and um, we if you like the program crashed let's uh, try again with maybe 5,000 Now I am using a kind of parallel uh, virtual windows, so that doesn't help. But let's run this again just to see what happens. And I must turn this off. And run with 5000. And I'll pause. Okay, and I've got results here. Uh, so for 5000 steps, now it's taken about 3 minutes for the results to come up. But I have converged. This is Cox Ross Rubenstein, Rubenstein code. Um, and uh, it's a little bit slower. Uh, the license rhyme recall was much quicker.